it might seem trivial to think about just spotlighting the people on stage. But if we open the can of worms, we can actually see that inside there's a lot to it. And if we prepare well for it, we can really enhance our show or service. Hi, I'm David from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're going to talk about spotlighting those folks on stage, when to do it, how to do it, what to use, and how to get the most out of it. So this is part of our 30 days that, that is five minutes to a better lighting. And to catch all these videos, see the past ones, and get the ones in the future, I need you to subscribe here so that you get everything and click the bell so that you get the latest updates from Learn Stage Lighting. Killer. Now that we've done that, let's talk about spotlighting. At its simplest level, spotlighting is, you know, the act of lighting just a performer who's doing something significant on stage. So, a lot of the time, you're definitely going to have your lead singer or worship leader or whoever is leading on stage lit with white light. You're going to be able to see them clearly so that they can lead the band and lead the show and direct the course of whatever the show or service is that you're doing. But at certain times, you're going to also want to highlight other people who are on stage individually. There might be a solo from anybody else on stage, you know, keyboards, drums, guitars, bass, etc. And you want to be ready and have a plan to highlight these people. This is actually something that I noticed when I was lighting a lot of corporate parties that made a big difference in a show, even if I didn't know when it was going to happen or what kind of music the band was playing. Being able and being ready to highlight certain performers at certain times makes your show look so much more professional than if somebody's just over there doing their solo and, you know, all of a sudden you got to figure out what to do. So when it comes down to it, having lights on each person sometimes isn't practical. If you're doing live music, you might have spotlight operators who stand up somewhere with the spotlight and highlight various people. If this is the case, then you want to be ready with some sort of communication system so you can call out spotlight cues to them. Most of the time they'll cover the lead singer, but if you can get with the band or the worship team ahead of time and find out when there's going to be various solos or recognition points, then you can be prepared to lead and to call those cues to your spotlight operators as you go. Now, if you don't have spotlights, then go ahead and make sure either with moving lights or with some conventional or LED fixtures, you've got the ability to bring up white light on the front at least, back would be nice, on each person that's on the stage, okay? Make sure you're ready to go and you're able to light everyone in a spot of light on command. So have it programmed into your console on a button, on a fader, wherever it needs to be so that you can quickly highlight each member. It could be as simple as just two moving lights or one even that's on the front truss that you can point at each section of the stage as needed, like during a band recognition statement. Uh, it could be, you know, five or six conventional fixtures that are just wide open and bright and white on each position. But whatever you do, I don't want you to skip this point because recognizing and following that part of the music can really set you apart when you're doing your lighting. It really looks like you're part of the show. It makes you you know, part of everything that's going on stage and looks super professional, even if you're just doing this as a hobby. Now, if you want more, like I said, be sure to subscribe here to get the latest. And also, go ahead and grab my gear guide, which has my best picks of gear that I found. You can find that link here on the screen or below. Sign up and I'll send you the guide. Awesome. I will see you guys in our next video. Have a great day.